If you are a kid or teen and you want to go from this $100 to this $500 to this $1,000, then, then keep watching. watching. Hey, hey y'all, it's the Hershey Kisses. So today, y'all, we are going to be doing a how to make money as a kid slash teen. So we did this a few years ago, but this one is a little different. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so make sure you go watch that video if you have not. I suggest you finish watching this one before you switch over because this one has really good tips. And y'all, it is 2022. So I know y'all want to make some money this year. Right. So, so let's, let's get, get into, into the video. video. So the first way to make money is by getting good grades. So you're like, how am I gonna make money by getting good grades? Well, you can tell your parents, if you see an A on my report card, I can get this much money. And your parents are like, all right, bet, because this is a way for you to apply yourself. You could be like, if I get a 3.5 this quarter, will you give me $50? And I'll be like, you're not gonna be able to get no 3.5. You need to show them by the end of the quarter that you are going to get those grades, and then boom, you have your money. Spoiler alert, we will be doing a 4.0 GPA video if you're trying to get that money and get them grades. Right. Okay. Mom, if I get good grades, can I get some money? Good grades. Sure, if you can manage. She can't even do it. Thanks, Mom. But I'm going to show y'all that I can do this. Guess what, Mom? I got all A pluses. <gasps> How does you manage? I guess I should give you the money now. So next up is do chores. So this is like one of the easiest, easiest ways to make money. All you have to do is ask your parents like, say if I vacuum, will you give me $20? Or, <laughs> that's well that's a lot of money, sure. but. <laughs> you can say, can you give me like $5? They'll be more likely to say yes. Exactly. Or if you already are doing chores and you don't get paid for them, you can do extra chores like, stuff that you don't already do. For example, say something needs to be cleaned out and your parents are not about to touch it. Right. You can be like, can I clean out the basement or the attic for you? And I'll get like $20 because nobody wants to clean it so they will give you that money. Right. Mom! Me and Clear had this awesome idea that if we do chores, we can get some money. Can we get some money? Please! Yeah, there are some dishes in the sink right now that are dirty. So y'all can go and wash those. I'll give y'all $30. So we get $30 a piece? No, y'all are splitting it. Ugh, fine! Clear, look at all these dirty dishes. I know, right? Let's try to do it anyway, because we really got to get some money. Here's y'all's money. I knew y'all could do it. So next is to sell snacks at school. So you can sell candy, chips, gum, cookies. Just sell the popular items you know people will eat. And you can even sell like juices, like Capri Suns, Gatorades, yeah. Yeah, I remember I had did this about like two years ago and every day I was sold out. I remember this one time in third grade, I sold a candy bag for $20. A whole candy bag, <laughs> one candy bag for $20. Next, you can make and sell beaded necklaces or bracelets. These are very popular and very cute. So you know people will wanna buy them, especially if they have custom names, cause you know, name chains. For inspiration, you can go on Pinterest or TikTok and see how people make theirs. You could probably sell these at school or you could also do it online or something. Or you could sell them for fun. Yeah. Anywhere you go. <laughs> Next is to save money and collect coins. So a way you can save money and get you more motivated to save money is to get an ATM. Yes, you are spending money, but this is a very good investment for you. It will be like, oh, I have somewhere to actually put my money once I saved it. Around the house, whenever you see a coin, pick up the coin. 
If you see a dollar on the street, pick up the right. dollar. If you see a quarter on the street, most definitely pick up that quarter. Four quarters on a day, that equals a dollar. May not be a lot of money to you, but money is money. Man, this must be my lucky day. Girls, look how much money I made. Next is stop spending money on useless items. I know this is hard for some of you to hear. I sympathize with you, but you need to do it. As soon as you get some money, do not hurry up and buy something. I won a competition at school. This was during virtual. And my teacher owed me $25 in a gift card. So we come back to school and she gives it to me. My old teacher gives it to me. And I still haven't spent it. You may think that the money is just going to sit there, but you will be able to use it in the future whenever you actually need right. it. Right. Next is to start a YouTube channel. Spoiler alert. Soon we will be doing a video on how to do this. So YouTube is not really the easiest way to make money. But once you get to that point where you can start making money, then... Right. It's it just, really good. It just takes about a few videos for them to go somewhere. Really, you just need to put some hard work, dedication, learn how to edit. Right. The most important part is to keep going. When you do not see the subscribers you want or the views you want, the most important part is to just keep going and keep going until you get to that point. Right. Because. And when you get to that point, you keep going up. Like right. What? We are currently making money on YouTube right now. We finally got to that point two years ago. We were not at that point yet, but we finally made it because we kept on going. We made it. We were not done, but we made it. All right, next on our list is selling things you no longer want or need. So if you have some clothes or books that you no longer want, you can sell them on Depop, Etsy, eBay. Yeah, a garage sale will probably be the easiest way during the summertime. Of course, it's winter right now, so it's kind of cold, but yeah. And make sure this is stuff people actually want to buy. Don't try to sell no tore up book or no tore up clothes. Exactly. <laughs> And make sure your pictures actually look good because if you have a good, actually right. good item, but the picture is bad, then people probably not want to buy it. Right. So any books that you have. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. Any picture albums that you have that you are not using. And she paid $100, so she did that too. <laughs> the next way to make money is by making bets. You can literally make a bet about anything. Right. For example, I could be like, Karis, if I can do magic and make Vaseline come in my hand, then you got to give me $100. <laughs> Don't play with me. Yeah. There you go. Don't play up. No way. Next up is request money during holidays. Whoever is going to give you something for Valentine's Day, instead of them giving you roses, chocolate, and cards, you can instead ask for money. Okay, you can still ask for money. I know it sounds right. crazy, but you can ask for money. <laughs> right, sounds a little weird, sounds a little shady, but right. also during your birthday, make sure you link your cash app. Just make it clear that you are accepting money for your birthday. Right. And for Christmas, you can also ask for like gift cards or cash, yeah, stuff pizza. like that. Next is to utilize your skills. Yeah, so say you have a certain talent, like you can do hair, you can do nails, or you know how to play a sport. For example, if you know how to play basketball and you're good with little kids. But yeah, say if you yeah. are of age to sign up for a job like that, you can sign up for it and you can teach little kids how to play. And it will be fun for you because you know you know how to play and you're good with kids and you can make money from that. Right, and then if you can do nails or hair, you can have people come to your house and then you know you can be a little nail tech and mm -hmm. get their nails done get the nails on point but know your worth and what you're paying for and make sure you're actually doing with quality make sure people come for what they pay for because if the space is not looking good people are going to be like you're mediocre 
your mid. Next, you can tutor people or do homework for them. When school was starting, I know Karis used to tutor some people and she could have been getting paid for it because it takes a lot of time. Right, so do not make the same mistake Karis made. You can also do people's homework for them for money. For example, some hard homework people like, you know, I don't really want to do this right now. They'll be like, okay, send it over to me and I'll do it and I'll just send it right back to you. Right. Boom. And charge like $20, $30. Make sure they cash up you. And you, if you do not have cash up, tell them to meet you at school. If right. they don't meet you at school, you know it's time. <laughs> so it's just like. Next is to shovel snow. It's the colder months and you know it's about to start snowing. You can actually just go outside and start knocking on people's doors and say like, hey, can I shovel your snow for $10? Make sure you actually know how to shovel snow though. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. one time these people came over our house and they did not know how to shovel the snow and- They were trying to demand money like, no. Yeah. So next on the list is paint slash customized shoes. So where you can get the shoes from, you can get them from Walmart or you can get some like good shoes. So you buy the shoes and you customize them, paint them however they want it to look and then you send it over to them and boom. Just throw your creativity on the shoes. I know some people just put like beaded type necklaces on the shoes and some people would like, for example, Crocs, they will put the, um, the Croc charms on the shoes. There was this trend going on for Walmart shoes that looked like Air Force Ones where they would paint the shoes. Yeah, so you so could do cute. that. Yeah, you could do that and sell those. Next is to sell your paintings or art. So you can paint trending things. For example, you can paint a trending cartoon show or a popular cartoon show. It doesn't have to be trending. So if you watch anime and you have a favorite character for one of the shows, you can paint them and people might like that character too and they're gonna want it in their room so you can sell it. Right, yeah, if you are artiste, whether you draw or paint, you can always sell your art. Art is in the eye of the beholder. Next, you can offer to run someone's social media account. If you have had a successful social media account and you know how to grow someone's social media account, you can tell someone, be like, hey, if you want me to help you, I can run your social media account. And they'll be like, sure. And you'll be like, okay, well, you got to pay me, you know, because I know the good tips. Blah, blah, blah. And be like, okay, you know what? Here. Or maybe your family members have like a business or something and you're like, hey, I'll offer to run your social media account. Yeah, you can just do a few posts for them like every week or so. And yeah, you can get some money from that. Right. So next is to recycle bottles. So this is like a really easy way. You can literally go to your local grocery store and they will have like this machine where you can put the bottles into the machine. You're going to get paid 10 cents per bottle. Say if you have 100 bottles that you have been saving, you can go to the store and get $10 for that. So next on the list, you can edit things. For example, you can make edits like, you know, like the video star edits, the cap cut edits. You can do YouTube intros. You can edit YouTube intros for people and they'll pay you money for that. You can also do YouTube banners. You can edit people's photos or like say somebody is having an event coming up. You can also do a slideshow for them. Right, people will pay for this stuff. Right, if you people are tech savvy. Use your skills to your advantage. That's edge. Yeah. That's what we gotta do when we are kids out here in the streets. Right. Okay. Next is to sell stickers. This is very self-explanatory, but people are like, cute little stickers. Right, cute little slogan that they can slap on stuff. They can put it on their shoes, they can right. put it, they can put it on their clothes. Right, for anything. example, I want to tell y'all something. Like a meme, a TikTok meme, a popular TikTok meme, or a popular quote from a TV show. For the TikTok meme, you can make a sticker and it can say material girl. Come on, people will buy that. Right. Like, come on. Or you can have a little finger heart as a little sticker. Yeah, just anything you can think of. Right. So next, you can start your own business. So you probably might be like, oh, this is a lot of work. Right. Yes, it's a lot of work, but it's a very good idea. Because if you don't want to work for anybody or you think like some of these ways are like not really what you want to do, you can start your own business. Yeah, your business could be super simple. Like, you know, just selling stuff whenever you get the chance in person. Or you could have a whole website. You can buy stuff in bulk. Say, I 
eyelashes, people with my eyelashes, lip gloss, phone cases or AirPod cases, like some squishies or some fidget toys or some poppets. You could also do accessories like necklaces and anklets and bracelets, stuff like yeah. that. Earrings. Some other stuff is do rags and bonnets. Yeah, and more. Right. Whatever you are interested right. in. Whatever you can think of, ever speaks to you. Next, if all fails, and lastly, is to actually get a job. This is a stable stream of income. As long as you go and do the work and you don't get fired, you can get a job. This is like from age 14 and up. This is a idea that I know can be any age it wants to be, okay? Like you can start this at any age. You can be a YouTuber, like, come on. Really think about being a YouTuber because this is a full-time job. I right, mean, it really is. Post consistently, like this is our full-time job. Yeah, but We're you can start at that. any age. And now you won't be like, oh, now you have no excuses okay right so go make some money hope y'all enjoy to see how to make money make sure you guys subscribe and click the notifications ding hershey kisses out dear black girl it's your style your smile the way you light up a room when you walk in